Today in Health Matters, we uncover how orthopedic surgeons are looking to new technology to get to the root of rotator cuff problems. Unrelenting pain, like a dull toothache, it keeps me awake at night. These are just some of the common complaints that Dr. John Mahalik hears on a daily basis. A lot of patients will say, oh, it doesn't really hurt in my shoulder, it hurts in the upper part of my arm, and that's actually fairly classic for rotator cuff problems. Rotator cuff tears are considered the most common cause of pain and disability for adults. So when you get a rotator cuff tear, typically what will happen is the tendon will tear from the bone, leaving a deficiency in the tendon like this. And the reason that patients get pain as a consequence of that is primarily due to overload of the surrounding tendons. After a series of physical examinations, x-rays, and in some cases, MRIs or ultrasounds, Dr. Mahalik will recommend arthroscopic rotator cuff repair if surgery is needed. This technique uses smaller incisions, which means less scarring and quicker recovery for patients. In the repair process, what we do is we freshen this edge of the bone right over here where this tendon used to be attached to. We use some little devices down inside the bone that are called suture anchors. Suture anchors work like a drywall anchor works in your wall to hold a picture. It gets buried down deep inside the bone and has strong suture attached to it. And then we route that suture through the torn edge of the rotator cuff and then sew it back down anatomically where it used to be. This minimally invasive procedure takes a little less than an hour. Patients usually return to normal activities within three months a much faster recovery than traditional surgery, which generally takes between 6 to 12 months. Reporting for Lee Memorial Health System, I'm John Bafar.